Hey everyone, welcome to 601 Travels. We've already told you why Providence is a great place in another video, but in this one, we're going to tell you why you should think twice about settling down here and calling it home. Before we get started, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join our travel community. We do top 10s just like this one, plus city tours and highway drives. While you're watching, make sure you smash that notification bell so you don't miss a future upload. Here's our list of the top 10 reasons you should not move to Providence, Rhode Island. Number 10. Not accessible. According to WalletHub, Providence is rated the worst city in the whole country for people who have disabilities to live in. Think about that for a second. That's behind cities like Detroit, Akron, Gary, St. Louis, or New Orleans. Behind those cities. It's hard for people with disabilities when it comes to normal things like looking for a new home, public transportation, entertainment venues. This isn't just for people with physical limitations, but also those who need good air quality and want to live normal lives. Number 9. Roads Rhode Island, ironically, has some of the most horrible roads you'll find in America, according to studies. Half of the state roads are in less than acceptable condition, according to the U.S. Department of Transportation. On top of that, more than 23% of the bridges in the state are in poor condition. You'd think for a state with the word road in it, they might up their game a little bit, but apparently they don't spend too much of their tax money on keeping them maintained. Number 8 population. There are a lot of people packed into a little space. Not sure why all those chose to be crammed in there, but they are. Over 1.5 million of them, which might not sound like a lot of people, but considering the state is only 1,214 square miles, it matters. Rhode Island is 48 miles top to bottom and 37 miles across, and most of them are in Providence. So you will see a lot of people, live next to a lot of people, and have to deal with a lot of people. If you don't necessarily like people, this may be something that you will not be happy with. Number 7. The Weather while Rhode Island isn't necessarily known for having big hurricanes, it's still a possibility. At least, maybe a strong nor'easter. It's on the water and vulnerable to this type of weather. The winters there are cold and miserable, and dealing with snow, sleet and ice is just something residents have to learn to accept. On average, more than 35 inches of snow falls here that you'll have to clear out and drive in. Number 6. Property Taxes the tax rate for property is 1.79%, which is higher than the national average because of the cost of homes. Old and new, your tax bill at the end of the year could be substantially higher than what you're used to. It goes up higher and higher when you get into certain neighborhoods that offers basic things like low crime and people not slinging dope on the corner. Living outside the city will provide safety as well as a lower tax bill, plus you'll be able to get more house for the money. Number 5. Crime On paper, the crime statistics of Providence doesn't look that bad. You can tell when you're driving around the city the areas where you should take caution and make sure your doors are locked. High numbers of property crime seems to be what puts this on the list of why you shouldn't move here. You still have a chance of 1 in 28 to be the victim of a crime if you're in Providence. Number 4. The Traffic I-95 runs right through Providence and is a parking lot during the morning and evening commutes. Decent on the weekends, but let's face it, anyone living in Providence is going to be looking for somewhere to go and they'll have to drive there. They're going to be on the beach during the summer or in New Hampshire skiing somewhere, forgetting all about Rhode Island, but clogging up the roads as they get there. Number 3. Poverty Families in Providence don't get paid much. The average salary is just over $30,000. With that being said, the poverty rate is very high at almost 22%. One out of every 7.5 residents are living in poverty. Because of this, there is unfortunately a lot of people who are homeless or living in hotels. Number 2. Nothing to do there are some things to do in the city, like 
a few city parks, museums, and places to eat, but they aren't the things people live in the Northeast for. There are no beaches, so you'll have to travel to go to one. And if you wanted to ski, you won't be able to do that in the city either. For outdoor activities, you will definitely have to drive north to experience real New England mountains and recreation areas. Number one, houses are expensive AF. The average cost of a house in Providence is over $350,000. That's not a big fancy house. That's like a basic crammed in, smell your next door neighbor's cooking house. If you want to live by the water, you can expect to at least double or triple that number. Taking that number in account with property taxes and insurance for that possible enormous hurricane that could hit at any time, you'll have a very large monthly note. All to live in a city you won't feel safe in and has a ton of traffic. Alright everyone, that'll do it for today's video. Do you live in or love Providence? Maybe you hate it. While you're still here, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. That makes us really happy. Thank you so much for watching. Bye y'all!